Well, Nusa Penida is incredibly beautiful. I'm out here at Broken Beach and Angel's Billabong and they are absolutely stunning. Getting out here is pretty tough because there's one main road around this island because it's quite small and then once you get off that main road, you don't really know what you're gonna get. There were parts of it that were well paved, but the majority of it was kind of similar to this trail. Just like gravel, coral rock, and parts that were asphalt at one point but have now become incredibly hard to ride on the motorbike. A couple of people that are staying at the same place as me rented a tour and so I am just following them for the day on the motorbike for free and we're just out here. I'm walking up to Broken Beach right now and this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> These two locations are just insanely beautiful. The water is like Gatorade color, so blue, it's hard to describe even. But so I was talking to these two guys that work at the place I'm staying and they were telling me that two years ago, before that, this area was kind of no tourists at all and now they're building out their tourism and it's actually a massive industry out here now and there are a ton of people here today. So pretty busy. I wish I had gotten up a little bit earlier to go catch the sunrise, but you know, I was up late editing, fell asleep on my computer and uh, didn't set an alarm. So here we are. Now it is off to Kalinking. Okay, so I just got down to Kalinking Beach and it is on another level of beautiful. This is the most incredible beach that I have ever been to. I can't stress that enough. Another thing that I cannot stress enough is the hike down here is one serious mother That is the first time that I've said that word in these videos and it is worth it because that hike is serious. The whole way down, you are hiking along a cliff and it is, it's vertical. And there are small little footsteps carved out and then a bunch of sticks along the side that have been jammed into the ground, held together by twine. And you have to kind of scramble your way down this. I did it in flip flops, so that should let you know how difficult it was. Once you get down here, it is, so incredible. I cannot wait to get the drone up, so I'm gonna do that now. As you can see, this place is incredibly beautiful. I am actually blown away. I was not expecting it to be this good. And it is on a level with Yosemite and its beauty, in my opinion. It is stunning. The cliff sides all the way down the island are made of this beautiful limestone, coral, I'm not sure what it is, but it is so incredibly beautiful all the way down. And it just makes me want to get in a boat and go explore every inch of it because there aren't roads out here. And if you're lucky, on a good day, you can see manta rays swimming off the beach right here, which is just another added bonus of how cool this place is. All right, now it is time to do the grueling hike back up. Well, I would like to take back what I said previously about that hike, because it is not a hike at all. It is a rock climb and it is really, really serious. <laughs> on the way up, you're just on all fours, climbing, literally, 
up a cliff and it was incredible. I'm really glad I did it. It was 150% worth it. So if you come here, make sure to do it. But be prepared, sunscreen water. Because I ran into some people that needed some water and I had a big one of it. So I, had, I gave them some of my water. Make sure you bring your own. Well, I just got back to where I'm staying and the whole motorbike ride over, I was just able to reflect on how amazing today was. I had a really excellent time and I was just so excited to see those cool new places. But now I'm a dirt ball, so I've got to take a shower and get to editing so that I can get up real early tomorrow morning and take you guys on another amazing adventure. So I'll see you guys then.